Hi. Hello. Hey guys, it's your Elvis loving floral obsessed makeup artist friend Cat Sketch here to bring you a brand new video. Thank you so much for coming here and watching today's video. If you don't know what this is, we're gonna talk about TikTok again because I'm obsessed and a lot of people are. And today we're gonna try out three makeup hacks that I found on TikTok. And today I'm gonna be a little different. Start off with brows first. I usually am a foundation first and then brows later type girl. But in order for this hack to work, I have to start off with brows. Because I saw this video on TikTok by Tracy Does Makeup, and she did her brows first using a brow powder. Hers was from Benefit, but I don't have that exact product. So today I'm gonna use one by Sigma, and I love Sigma's brow products, and it's still a powder similar to the one that she used in the video. So this is what we're gonna use today, and let's see if it works. Like, she's next level in this hack, doing the makeup, living in the year 2050. So what Tracy does in the TikTok video is she takes a little blending brush and dips it in her brow powder color, and then she just goes to town on her brows, not staying in any line, just filling it in, which blew my mind because we be looking like we haven't waxed, tweezed, shaved, any, done anything to our brows for a long time. It looks messy. I look like I've been living in the trash can at Sesame Street with Oscar the Grouch. I feel like the beginnings of a female to male transformation makeup video like I did my e-boy, but no. We just filling in these brows. I have very sparse weird brow hairs as an Asian mixed individual, so I'm really getting in there. And once we have the brows all filled in, you get a makeup remover wipe or a baby wipe. I suggest baby wipes because we found out recently, well I did, that makeup remover wipes are not really good for your skin. So we really want to go to town and get kind of creative with it and wipe away the excess where your brow line is not at. This arch be looking too high. I'm looking a little too surprised. Let me take more away. Oh my gosh, that's so sharp. Wow. Did I just do something there? Look at the difference. Maybe my brows look more crazy because I have my hair up today in Princess Leia realness. Let me do the other one. The problem I have with doing my brows is the hairs grow differently in at different thicknesses or lengths. Not thicknesses, what? I'm not a an alien different length so this might work for me gotta get rid of that unibrow i probably look too thick on this side this will make me go crazy though like how even to get them all right now once she's done with that and we still look a little boyish what she does is she gets her concealer and goes under it like these like so like that and then she gets herself whatever concealer brush and starts carving out them brows. This is why we're doing our brows first. In the foundation, oh, I messed up already. Oh no. Then we carve out the brows. The foundation that we're gonna do today is another hack that's gonna be insane. Even more crazier than this hack. Blend that out so we don't have any harsh edges. And we got somewhat of a brow. I don't know if I like it. I wish my friend Chelsea was here because she'd be honest with me. Do you ever have those makeup friends who are just straight up honest with you and you trust their opinion? That's Chelsea, I wish she was here. All right, we've got brows. How did I do? Rate it. <laughs> no, not yet. Now let's do some foundation, I'm nervous. So this next TikTok hack to do our foundation, I found it from Hanny Rosie, Hannah, Hanny? Hannah Rosie Bennett, did I say that right? I don't know. She took all of the primary colors, started off with a white or he's brown or mixes a white and black, because white and black aren't colors, into a base, like those cream colors that kind of resemble, I want to say the Makeup Forever palette because that's what I have here today, but I think she used a Makeup Forever or Anastasia, not quite sure. I feel like I should know that product detail though. But, you know, those primary cream color palettes that you see all over on the markets lately. She uses that to get into a, like, point, point, like, little bits all over her face to blend into a foundation color. It's like magic. Like, Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus would be impressed. David Blaine, if he did makeup, 
I'm over exaggerating, but let's try it out. I'm so nervous about this one. I don't know why. I'm gonna get mostly white, some yellow because I know that I'm a neutral, more cool tone, yellow tone base. I lean cool, but I'm usually neutral when it comes to picking out my foundation and concealers and stuff like that. And I'm probably gonna get some salmons in there for some correction. Mix and match and we'll see and pray that I get this right. Just a little side note, I went to get my allergy medication and Corey, my boyfriend, was like, your eyebrows look thick and now I'm sensitive. And he's like, I like your eyebrows how they usually look. Why are you making your eyebrows so thick? And I'm like, it's for a video. <laughs> you know who you're, I almost said Mary, you know who you're dealing with here, sir. I try new things all the time. Anyways, what I did like in that video is that they were using Q-tips, so it's more sanitary. An individual Q-tip for each color. I like that. <clears throat> I'm all about sanitization. So we're just gonna dot like how she did in the TikTok video with the various colors. I'm probably gonna do some greens in there around the redness I have. I have so much redness around my nose and I have have some dark spots and so let's get some salmon around this area because we need it. I've been barely sleeping. And I'm gonna get some green on where I got zits and cuteness. And we're gonna get a lot of yellow to represent my family. Every time I dip into my palette, I'm getting a new clean Q-tip because pff, sanitization, Miss Rona's out, man. I'm not playing games. I wanna keep my palette and stuff fresh. So apparently when I rub all this in, it's going to turn into my foundation color. And I've noticed a lot of these girls have been forgetting their necks. Girl, you can't forget your neck. You want a mask on? What if it doesn't match? You willing to take that chance? I'm not. Wow. I look like I'm going to Halloween at school as like those little dot candies, but in a very bad cosplay of it. So what they do now is they just mix Oh, they use a brush, don't they? Oh my gosh, they use some red. I should use red. On the cheeks? There. Is that enough red? Yes, they use the makeup brush. Smart. I'm using my favorite brush. This is Morphe's E7, my favorite foundation brush. And hopefully this works. Because it isn't looking like it's working. Maybe I need more white. You know what's crazy is like, I know color theory and this should work. Maybe, oh, way too much yellow. I literally look like mustard. We're gonna start this all over. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do because I look like I just am doing a promo for mustard. Ain't cute. And I gotta use a makeup remover wipe. I hate using makeup remover wipes. Look at what you made me do, TikTok. I messed up. We're gonna do this one more time and if it fails, I'm just gonna use regular foundation to show the next hack. Look at how yellow that is. It literally looks like bird dookie mustard. So this time, kids, let's lighten up on that yellow. We gotta prime and moisturize the face again because I want this to go as smooth as possible. So moisturizer and primer. Got my Dewy Primer by e.l.f. It's so funny because Corey saw that I got new e.l.f. makeup and he was like, oh my gosh, don't you not like e.l.f.? Isn't e.l.f. like cheap? I'm like, yeah, it's cheap, but some of their stuff is great, like actual goodness. Like this baby, the Prime and Poreless Primer. Some of their foundations aren't even that bad either. I love some of their skincare and I love some of their brow products. And he's like, oh, gotta smooth it all where I got them pimples. Let's try this again, kids. Now this time we're gonna try not to mess up and we're gonna do some white, more white than yellow. I wish I had the exact palette, whatever that girl used in the TikTok, because maybe that's, you think that's it? You think that's what, I don't know, what'd she use? I'm gonna blend it into my neck. Maybe that's why they also didn't do it on their neck, because I noticed, I'm just gonna use a little yellow this time. Just a tad bit of mustard instead of the whole tube. I'm also gonna do like some salmon again. I'm also gonna do some like brown. We're also gonna do some red. We're also gonna do some green. Grab a foundation brush, say a little prayer, and hope to goodness that this blends into something magical. I feel like they're playing games with us on this one, guys. I just don't know. 
like did I not put enough product on at least it's better than what was coming out before but what's this coverage like Korean BB cream because I feel like I'm still gonna see little spots and dots you know like it literally looks like some melted pieces of M&Ms like melted onto my forehead and then I put someone like accidentally touched my face with some whiteout at school like what this is like these are little dots of that was a fail okay that that was fail I don't do you see this do you see it I just don't understand we're gonna dip into my favorite foundation this is the wet n wild photo focus dewy and just forget about that this mess even existed okay because I'm not here for it not here for it I feel like this is not David Blaine approved this is not some magician type situation that I was hoping for no this is some tomfoolery I can't believe I fell for that anyways I literally thought it would work out because you know every time they try to sell you on pals like this they're like you can make lipstick you can make cream blush you can make foundation colors out of this if you know color theory I know color theory it's not happening me maybe I didn't use enough but maybe I need to go back to school well that could be an option okay the color corrector you should buy is Charlotte Tilbury's peach corrector they also have different colors for they have a pumpkin one for darker skin tones that is gorgeous if you have a darker skin tone you want to look for instead of these like baby pink peachy correctors that look like georgia peaches you want to look for pumpkin like rich beautiful halloween spice man y'all have great skin and you should do a corrector that uh, that does your skin justice which is pumpkin I miss doing makeup on other people and dipping into pumpkin correctors in like such great colors that like really pop on dark skin. But let's just cover our mistakes. I didn't like that trick. Nope. Now this foundation, let's just stick to foundation. I feel like it's cheaper than that huge palette anyways. This Wet n Wild foundation, I'm positive it's under ten dollars this thing what is it a hundred dollars and the anastasia ones and stuff aren't even that much cheaper so i feel like i was just played but we have one more tiktok thing to go through soon let me just put on blush bronzer all that jazz and i'll be right back okay i'm back with gloss a lot bronze and i was starting to do a what looks like a bruised eye look from one of my favorite palettes uh the conspiracy shane dawson palette my favorite color in here is not a fact so that's what i have on today because i'm trying to do this next hack which is taking a concealer you know these p louise concealers how they have various colors usually you want one with a white base but this is so light that i feel like it might work but I saw this TikTok hack from Iris Boleyn. I hope I'm saying her name right. But she made her own P. Louise or, you know, those color type bases of corrector concealer type things that are like different colors. Instead of like spending so much money on all those like tube color corrector bases that I've always wanted to buy, you can make your own. And how we're gonna do it is we're gonna get a light. You usually want a white based one, but again, this one's gonna be so light that it might work. And we're gonna squeeze that onto our hand and then we're gonna get whatever color eyeshadow we want. So I'm taking the color What's the T because it's light enough and I'm, I think you should use mattes for this. I've never seen it done yet with a shimmery base. Oh my gosh, is this working? I think it's working. Oh, I think I might have too much of the pigment than the actual concealer itself so i'm just making my own bill nye the signs concoction Ooh, i think this might work so i'm gonna do a little cut crease action with it hoping it's not chunky and that it looks like a seafoam green color that i'm looking for now i didn't take my finger just rubbed it in like she did i actually took some of the pigment from the actual palette and like chopped it up in there scraped some of the pigment out with the spatula. Oh my gosh, I think it's working. Yes, P. Louise who, sis? Not knocking that company, I love it. I'm using P. Louise concealer in this. But sis, oh my gosh. 
Woo, child, things are gonna get cheaper and easier. I am so impressed. We finally got a winner, winner. We finally got a winner though. I'm so excited. It's a lot of product though to waste, I feel like, than if you just bought the base. But it might be cheaper to do this than to keep buying all the color bases under the rainbow that I wish I had. Oh yes, see yes. Ooh, I'm gonna pack some of the pigment it itself from the palette. This is the What's the Tea from the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson collab. I don't like the darkness of it, so I'm just gonna... I actually like it this color. Cause if you just take the pigment without mixing, it's dark. But I like it, the seafoam realness right here. Oof, okay. I'm gonna do the rest of my eyes, do my lashes, and we'll come back with a look and really judge how all these hacks are doing. Okay, now we are back with a look. Like these baby blues and burgundy is giving me life. I love this color combo, it's so pretty. But let's review the TikTok hacks, which ones worked out. I definitely do not think the foundation hack didn't work. The brows might work for some people, but I noticed when I was putting on my foundation, blending in my concealer and everything else, that they're starting to smear because they weren't set with brow gel. You might want to set it with brow gel. And for my brow hair, since I have such sparse brow hairs, I feel like it doesn't work for my brow hair texture necessary, but it might work for some people, so it's worth trying. The one that I love is the mock of the color base concealer. That was amazing. You know how some brands make those and they're so freaking expensive? You can just make your own. You do waste a little bit more product than if you just bought it, but again, it's gonna be a lot cheaper if you just get like a white creamy. I didn't even use white, I used like flesh tone that was super, like the lightest flesh tone affair, and it did change the color of the eyeshadow that I used, but it made it look good. <laughs> my opinion. I think that one is like stellar. That one's bomb.com on these TikTok hacks. I'll put the links down below to all these accounts, all their TikTok hack people accounts, so that you can definitely check them out down below in the description box. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see videos. I do beauty videos and effects videos two times a week every Monday and Friday. I hope you creators had a ton of fun today in today's video. Leave me a comment down below if you know any beauty makeup hacks that I should definitely do. Something that like a lot of people don't know but you definitely do it and you just found a cool way to do something that's fast, easier, you know, a hack. Thank you friends so much for watching today. I love you creators and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.